Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I'm coming to you on location. I'm actually at a resort hotel in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And so today I am going to have a, a chat with Mr. Walt Disney, the man behind the mouse and the man behind the magic. Now there is a playlist here at Above Life Channel where I've channeled Walt Disney. So today specifically, I'm interested in talking to him about the technology and the advancements that have been going on, the improvements to Walt Disney World. Specifically, there are two. One is the Skyliner, which is the new gondola system that is being used for transportation between some of the resort hotels, including the one that I'm at right now. I'm actually at the Caribbean Beach Resort and it's on the Skyliner line and it travels to a couple of other resort hotels as well, Pop Century, Art of Animation, Riviera, Caribbean Beach, and it goes to two of the theme parks, Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And there are actually four theme parks in Walt Disney World. The um, Magic Kingdom is the one that you might be think about most. It's the most like well-known, I guess you might say, which is the castle, you know, the, the whole fantasy land, adventure land, Pirates of the Caribbean, that kind of a thing. Um, the princesses, all that stuff is at the Magic Kingdom. And they have that version also, that part is also at Disneyland, so, which is in California. Anyhow, um, so today I hope to inspire your spirit and fill you with hope with a conversation with Walt Disney about how this legacy of his continues and about how all of this started with someone that was excited about ideas, that loved to create. And I'm so inspired by creatives. For those of you who have Etsy shops and stores, for those of you who are painters and artists and writers and, and, and creatives in so many different ways and in so many different genres and venues, I'm just, I'm so inspired by you. I'm so inspired by that. I share that creative of appreciation and passion too. So let's chat with Mr. Walt Disney. Hey, nice to see you, Walt. It's lovely to see you. I felt your energy the second I stepped onto that Skyliner gondola system. And by the way, for you guys, I am not into heights. I do not like heights. I am not a fan of heights. I did not want it. I said that I would never step on that Skyliner because it is like very high and off the ground and uh, not good for me. Now you might hear some people around just so you know because I am in a resort hotel and people are coming and going from the pool area so you might hear that background noise and that's okay. We're gonna let that be. And so I, um, I said that I didn't want to step on that because I was afraid of heights but I'm gonna tell you right now that it was not a big deal at all. In fact it was super smooth, it was so quiet, it was easy, not scary, it didn't rock or swing, and it's been very windy. I've ridden it multiple times, and I'm, I feel totally fine on it. Comfortable, safe, no big deal. And it was really fast, like fast as in convenient, ease of access. So as soon as I stepped on that Skyliner, I thought Walt Disney, I felt it, energy vibe. So I wanna find out from you how you feel about this new innovation. And did you have a hand in it? And how does that work in the afterlife? Like people ask me that all, I need to, you guys, I have to have some water. It's really hot today and I love it. Oh, it's nice and hot and humid today. It's like 88, I think. Hmm. Ooh. So how does that work in the afterlife? And how do you, so how do you feel about that? And do you actually have opinions or do you form opinions about that kind of stuff? How does that work? Do you have a part in it? He says, in a way, yes, in a way, the energy of what you refer to as legacy, we've talked about this, we've spoke about this before, Bridget, what you refer to as legacy is what continues on. The, uh, the energy flow of things, yes, the ideas never die, ideas never die. Once they are born, they are just bubbles waiting to be popped and received kind of is what he shows me. So like he shows me ideas like little bubbles that go into the air and then you pop them and then one lands. And when one lands, it's received. That's the vibe that, that Walt Disney, the visual imagery, uh, the clairvoyant imagery that I see that Walt Disney is giving to me. So ideas are eternal is what it feels like. Just waiting to be received. Mm -hmm. And he says, it's not, it's not what you think. It's not as specific or targeted as you think. He says, it's not that there is one recipient of the idea. 
there there are many that could receive the same idea at, at one time or in a in a span of time but depending upon the momentum within the person and the chemistry of that energy of the idea and the timing of it it all has to be it's quite like a, it's like a chemistry like thing he's showing me it's like a chemistry like thing it has to be all in a you would say alignment and he says it all has to be right it has to be the right mix and then that's when the magic happens he says so it's not one person it's not intended for one person it's not faded and there's not a destiny about an idea a particular idea this is why you see many forms of ideas that take shape and it's not that an idea belongs to one person an idea belongs to the group or the um, community that will be the receivers of the idea as a whole once it is it is expressed and when the idea is received and then expressed out it is intended for the community or the um like the group of people that it was made for but there is a person that has to or a group of people that has to embody it or transmute the energy or express the energy into a form that is digestible palatable tangible to us as humans this is information from walt disney about creativity and ideas this is fabulous this is about ideas and legacy so so with the skyliner how do you feel about about that energy is that something that you had a say in he says well you know we had we've had one a similar type of a system previous it's not a new system it's not something new it's something that has been adapted and well implemented. He says, well implemented in, in um, the Walt Disney World Resort area. It has been, um, it is a form of transportation and it, it is in, in very intuitive, and it, but it's not new. It is not new. It is, is an idea that is, that is seen as being innovative because of the, the he says, because of like the, how big it is, how much it's being used, how, how um, high profile it is. And he said, so it's interesting that it's not the first time the idea has ever been utilized, but it's the first time that it has such a high profile impact. And there's more scrutiny, he says about that. And there should be, he said, as well, there should be. There should be criticism or critique about things. There should be. People should be able to, to look at something um, with a, a, a keen eye to be able to identify pr improvement. But when you look at something to, um, to take it apart into pieces to understand it, that is one way to look at things. But if you do so with other intention and without the, the genuine interest in wanting to make it better, then it doesn't help or serve you. And these are not the people that the ideas would come to. These are the people who would be afraid of the ideas or afraid of, the, of, of being bold and expanding on the idea. So it's not new, and yes, it is in alignment. It is in alignment, your words, like he's telling me. Alignment is my word. Whoa, big B. Hello, B. Hello, B. Hello. <laughs> um, it is in alignment, Bridges' word, my word, um, with innovation, and that's one of the values um, that Walt Disney has, is innovation, constantly innovating, constantly trying new things, and, and he says, you're going to fail. You're going to fail a number of times, but you can't be afraid to fail. And that's what will create the success that, that you, you want, because the success is the imp not just the implementation, but the expression of the idea. And when other people get to see it and understand it, there's a, a, a momentum that is created from that, and it just creates excitement and, and celebration and fuel for new ideas, better ideas, more ideas, more and more and more ideas. So... Um, I'm thinking about, so I wanted to talk to you about the Skyliner and that idea. So, so is this something, so you're saying this isn't something new, this is something that's just, that's been there, that's just being implemented on a broader level. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so it's not an idea that you like from the afterlife, we're like pushing into fruition or anything like that. Not, no, none of the, that sort, none of that sort. He said none of that sort. Um, and then, the other part would be besides the skyliner would be i want to talk to you about the um oh the changes to epcot i'd like to talk about that epcot is a really cool um land you guys it has like kind of separated into a couple of different parts and right now one of the parts where you see the big it looks like a golf ball kind of that's spaceship earth that's actually a ride you can go up in that you guys and 
then there's all these like future world, that kind of a thing. There's different little worlds, um, very kind of science-based, uh, learning about the land, very like sustainable food. I mean, very cool stuff, you guys, cool stuff. And there's a, um, but right now it's all being, that part is all just completely covered in construction stuff. Um, big like buildings have been torn down and it's just really constructions on that whole first part kind of by that big spaceship earth that big like it looks like a big golf ball that's like silver <laughs> that's really what it looks like and the world of tomorrow is what your vision was yes he says the world of tomorrow is what he said to me he just literally said the world of tomorrow he said that awesome um how do you feel about that there's major changes going on and then the other part of epcot you guys is the world showcase which is where all the countries are there are several i think there's 13 different countries that are represented like united kingdom italy france um, canada us um, morocco mexico like germany i can't remember all of them but um, they have like food and they have like um, stores that have that carry authentic items from that place them um, you know candy food wine um, clothing all that kind of stuff um, but it is commercialized so i'm just gonna be clear on that you guys i mean i know that it's obviously commercialized right but um, I'm curious about how he feels about the whole construction part because it's hard for me to see it because I love Epcot. The vibe in there is so cool. It's so like future and visioning our future and just like visionary. I love it. I love, I love Epcot. You guys love it. Always loved it. And the food is fabulous <laughs> there. You get to try different things from different places. I love that. I love that. But how is that does that fit your vision like it's totally like construction like how how do you feel about that or do you have feelings about that he said it's it's no longer it's it's no longer a question of of ownership he says it's not about ownership epcot it, it's it's for all all it's for all it's not for me or for my family uh, for my brother and i or for my family or for any one person it is not for that it is for the community of tomorrow that's what it is intended to be and in order for that to happen you must evolve you must grow you must continue to innovate and change and you can't be afraid to change and change is messy change is not a a swift and easy thing to happen you don't make the decision flip a switch and tomorrow it's there there's a lot of crafting that and planning that goes into creating tomorrow, creating the, the new future. And this is, this has been, this is, this needs to, to be, this needs to be the next phase or the next level of, of creating a vision for tomorrow. My tomorrow is not the same as yours. And I am in a different, he says lifespan. He's not even saying lifetime. He said, I'm a different lifespan than you. And we can have nostalgia and memories and honor what it took and those who, on the backs of those who built it, the stream into reality. And we can honor that. But we can't keep that and forsake the future and the innovation that needs to come so although I know it's difficult he says for you to see it and it almost makes me emotional you guys because <laughs> it's hard to see it it is just there's a lot it's demolished like there's big green and black walls construction walls put up there's cranes there's just the whole future world I mean it's just it's not it's under construction majorly on that section of the park not on the the world showcase side, the countryside is to it's totally fine over there. That's fine. But it's hard to see that because I have memories of it and the beautiful, like the fountain of nations is gone. And I loved the sound of that fountain, you guys. And it had a sacred geometry shape in the center of it. And can you talk about that? The sacred geometry shape. There was at the fountain of nations, there was a sacred geometry shape, which is a circle and it's a, a flower of life. So connecting, intersecting circles flower of life you guys look that up on sacred geometry look up flower of life and you'll see it the the pattern of it and it was right in the center of the fountain is that intentional he says yes yes to amplify the energy to amplify the energy of peace and the world harmony and unity that is that was absolutely intention it's kind of like a button you guys almost it's like a button um, or antenna to push that and to create and that's probably the saddest part for me is to see that be gone 
And I don't know if that's, um, that's obviously a personal thing for me, but I just wanted to share that and just connect that, the dots there. All right, so it's getting a little busy around here, so I'm gonna wrap that up. This has been a conversation with Walt Disney in the afterlife. I am Bridget, your host every week here at Above Life Channel on YouTube. Remember, the purpose is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope, because this, this is your life. So take the information in this video that has inspired you today and live your life. Live it. Just live it. Thank you so much for watching, for supporting the channel, and for enjoying uh, Walt Disney World Resort, the Caribbean Beach Resort, with me today.